Hey guys, this is Scarecrow here. Today I'm going to be making a whistle out of clay. So guys, here's the whistle that I made out of clay. And also too, what's cool is that clay is a natural resource, which means it can be found anywhere in the world. So if you're ever lost or stranded, it's useful to know. And also too, I'll show you guys how loud it is. So guys, here's the whistle and this is how loud it is. So I'm going to show you guys how to make one. So guys, making this whistle, believe it or not, is very simple and easy. So all you want to do, you want to have two popsicle sticks. You see uh, the two popsicle sticks, and what you want to do, one, you actually want to cut the end of it off. So what you want to do, you want to take your knife, push it down on the end, and then you just want to take it and snap it off. It's that easy. So then what you want to do now is that you... <laughs> So what you guys want to do now, you just want to take a little bit of clay off of here, like this, roll it up into the ball. And you want it to be made a little bit smaller than golf ball. So maybe about that size, or maybe even a little bit smaller. You don't want it too small though, because the air can, won't be able to circulate to make the noise. So then you just take a little bit of clay, roll it up in the ball like this. What do you do? First you just push your thumb down, take your index finger, just kind of work it up into like a bowl. And then the cracks make sure you guys seal those up because you're trying because you're trying to make like an airtight seal with this puck make sure your walls are really thin that's important So then now you just take a little bit of water and seal up all the cracks on the top and on the bottom and then the inside. So once you got it all sealed up, and make sure it's really thin, that's important. And then what you want to do now, is you just close it, like this, and then you just pinch it together and make that airtight seal. And this is a good time to take a popsicle stick, put in a little bit of water, and you can just smooth it out. So once you get smoothed out like this, you want to find a side that's already kind of a little flat. So you see how this is kind of flat already? What you want to do, you want to take it, smush it down like this, make a little mouthpiece out of it. Nothing too terrible fancy, just enough to put your mouth on it. And then also you want the width to be able to fit a popsicle stick into it. And it's really important too that this is nice and flat. Because he needed to be able to flat to be able to catch the air and make the whistle noise. So once you do that, you take the popsicle stick and you stick it into the mouthpiece. And you want to be right up against the wall so it can catch the air to make the whistle. And then you just wiggle it back and forth and get your popsicle stick to go in. And once you're in the chamber, you want to take your other popsicle stick 
and if there's if the mouse be kind of cracked a little bit, you can just kind of take it and build it back up like that. You just take your other one, and about a quarter inch thick. You just want to take it, and you see where this wall is. I want to pierce it straight down right there, and you want to hit the popsicle stick and make like a little square. And just take your popsicle stick, just kind of go back and forth like that. And you see how that made a nice square into it. Then if you got any clay down here, make sure you smooth that out because that affects how it will whistle too. You want it where you can take your popsicle stick straight down and not hit anything. Then clear it out. And then you take the popsicle stick, you stick it back inside the hole. And then what you do now is about a 45 degree angle. You take it right here and you just kind of smooth it out into like a 45 degree angle so the wind can catch it real nice. So once you're done working with it, blow on it and see if it makes any noise. So if it doesn't, that means that you need to tweak something. See, like I had a little bit of clay right there that I didn't clear out all the way. And also, too, sometimes the angle has an effect on how it works. So make sure you got a nice angle and you got a nice square area right there. Us to make sure it's not too small because it won't work either. So then you see that? You see the size of it? You want it about that big and you see the angle? You want about 45 degree and make sure this is really important. If you look straight down in there, you want to be able to fit a popsicle stick just like that. And that's too well, it's wet. You don't want to mess with it too much because it is wet and it can reshape. So once you got it making that good noise, make sure you just leave it alone. So now you got that good noise, just set it over somewhere and let it dry. Also too guys, with the whistle, if you want to add any decoration, just real gently add whatever you want to put on it while it's still wet. But make sure you do it really gentle because if you mess with the walls even, kind of like push them in, it won't really work that well. So guys, now that this dried, if you want to put it on a necklace or anything like that, just put it down in just the very back end and kind of push it down a little bit. Get a little clay spot and you can put a string or something through it. But, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And now that it's dry, you can mess with it. It dried for probably about 40 minutes now. And see, like, you listen to it. And you see how loud it is. And it's nothing but clay. And this is the survival bracelet. So, as you guys can see, it's real loud. I think it's even louder than the one I made before. But it's pretty neat. And it's really useful tip too if you ever get stranded. Clay is a natural resource so you can find it anywhere on earth. So you guys can just go and find it and make your own whistle. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this is Scarecrow signing off until next time. See you all then.